Mason Mount facing longer injury layoff and could prompt Manchester United transfer U-turn. Manchester United midfielder Mason Mount could be out of action for longer than initially anticipated, which could prompt Eric Ten Hag into a transfer rethink. On Tuesday, the Red Devils confirmed that their £55 million summer signing had picked up a small injury complaint in Saturday's defeat to Tottenham. The update only ruled Mount out of Saturday's Premier League clash against Nottingham Forest and next week's showdown with Arsenal, and he was expected to return after the international break. However, The Telegraph are reporting that United's initial assessment was rather optimistic and the 24-year-old could face between four and six weeks on the sidelines. Rather than only missing two matches, Mount faces being out of action until early October which would see him miss up to six more games. United are due to host Brighton in the first game back after the international break, followed by an away trip to Burnley, who actually beat Ten Hag's side in a behind-closed-doors friendly on Wednesday. The Red Devils will also have a Carabao Cup third-round fixture and the first of their Champions League group stage matches. If Mount's layoff is closer to the six-week mark, then his participation in Premier League home matches against Crystal Palace on 30 September and Brentford on October 7 could also be in doubt. The Telegraph's report claims the injury blow to Mount could have repercussions with regard to United's transfer plans before the window closes. Ten Hag had been willing to let Scott McTominay, who has fallen down the pecking order recently, leave the club, but he may now be retained in order to provide much-needed cover in midfield. With Fred having been sold, Kobe Maynou injured and Christian Eriksen not expected to play as regularly this season, the injury to Mount has left Ten Hag with precious few options in the short term. As such, McTominay is now more likely to stay at Old Trafford, a decision which has also been influenced by Newcastle and West Ham cooling their interest in the Scotland international. The situation could change yet again if United were able to bring in a new midfielder before next week's transfer deadline, with Fiorentina's Sofia and Amrabart still linked with a move, but as things stand McTominay will now be needed to step in during Mount's spell on the sidelines. Sofian Amrabart, training alone, after being left out of Fiorentina's squad for Europa Conference League qualifier. Manchester United target Sofian Amrabart is, training alone, after being left out of Fiorentina's squad for a Europa Conference League qualifier against Rapid Wien. The Morocco star has already agreed personal terms over a move to Old Trafford but United have yet to submit a bid for the midfielder. That's because of the club's failure to offload the likes of Donny van de Beek and Scott McTominay. Having spent £170 million this summer, United must balance the books if they are to re-enter the market for Amrabart. The club have so far recouped around £35 million through the sales of Fred, Mateo Kovar and Anthony Alanga, as well as a string of smaller deals involving academy players. But they had budgeted for a net spend of around £120 million this summer, meaning they must raise at least £15 million more to comply with financial fair play rules. Amrabart worked under Eric Ten Hag at Utrecht and is desperate to move to Old Trafford. Fiorentina are aware of his desire to do so, and he was not named in the side squad for tomorrow's Europa Conference League qualifier against Rapid Wien. Fiorentina got to the final of the competition last season, when they were beaten by West Ham. And Calcio Mercato says the Moroccan is now training alone as he prepares to leave the club. However, it's a game of nerves as Fiorentina have set a deadline of Friday for his departure but Untied do not yet have the funds to sanction the transfer. Brandon Williams nearing Manchester United exit to championship side. Brandon Williams is close to leaving Manchester United on loan to Ipswich Town, according to reports. It has been clear for some time that Williams is not in Eric Ten Hag's plans and is one of many outcast players expected to leave Old Trafford before the summer transfer window closes. Having burst onto the scene under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer in 2019, many thought the fullback had a bright career ahead of him but a mix of injuries and a drop in form have hampered his development. A lone spell at Norwich City did nothing for his cause and last season he played just five minutes of football as a late substitute in the Carabao Cup win over Burnley. With Luke Shaw and Tyrell Malaysia far ahead in the pecking order in his preferred left-back position, United have been looking to cash in on the 22-year-old and it looks as if they've finally found a buyer. 
Fabrizio Romano reports that negotiations between the Red Devils and Ipswich are advancing, with the championship club pursuing a loan deal with the option to buy. Williams' contract is set to expire next summer but there is the option for a one-year extension, which will likely be triggered before he heads off to Portman Road in the case that the Tractor Boys decided to make the transfer permanent. Ipswich have built upon their promotion from League One last season to make a brilliant start to the 2023 forward 24 campaign and currently sit top of the championship table with three wins from three. They are managed by Kieran McKenna who knows Williams while having spent five years at Old Trafford, first as under 18s boss and then as first team assistant manager under Jose Mourinho and Solskjaer. The defender had also been linked to Leeds recently, and by coincidence that is who Ipswich are playing this weekend as they look to keep up their 100% start. United fans meanwhile will be looking for a much improved performance when their team hosts Nottingham Forest on Saturday.